uh, if x plus y plus z is equal to 0, then 1 by x squared plus y squared minus z squared plus 1 by y squared plus z squared minus x squared plus this is equal to what? So, what is given here? x plus y plus z is equal to 0. So, okay. So, then what can you say? If, I, if x plus y plus z is equal to 0, then I can say x plus y is equal to minus z, correct? Or I can say x plus y the whole square that is equal to z square, correct? Or x squared plus y squared plus 2xy that is equal to z squared or x squared plus y squared minus z squared that is equal to 2xy, right? I can arrive at something like this. Now, if I can arrive at something like this, I can also say that if um, same way, see in this case, so here in terms of x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus z squared, I can put 2xy there. Similarly, what will be y squared plus z squared minus x squared? Same thing you have to extrapolate, right? So that will be, see I can say y plus z that is equal to minus x. Same way if I square both sides, I will get an equation which will say y squared plus z squared minus x squared that is equal to 2y z. Okay, so to similarly I can again if you again substitute uh, z plus x is equal to y minus y you will get uh, z squared plus x squared minus y squared that is equal to 2 z x right same thing same method you will get. So uh, if you get it like this then what can you say what can you do just uh, put in the values here. So you will have 1 by 2 x y minus right there is a minus isn't there a minus mm, this will go here this has to come here there has to be a minus right sorry missed the minus minus so plus 1 by minus 2 y z plus 1 by minus 2 z x that is equal to uh, what is this take the lcm if you take the lcm this uh, your lcm will be 2 x y z correct so your lcm is going to be 2 x y z so here you will have minus z minus x minus y correct or on top again numerator you are getting minus if you take outside you will have z plus x plus y divided by 2 x by z but you know this value is equal to 0 so your answer is 0 so the correct answer for this question is option c okay yeah so the answer is uh, option c 0 some of you put in values yes you can put in values also but at times putting in values uh, will not work okay uh, because it depends on the question so please be careful when you do that Next question is there on your screen. This is on algebra. So somebody was asking me in between uh, SSC CHSL. So this question uh, was asked in the SSC CHSL paper. See, you know this basic formula, right, that you have learnt in school. I think we learn it in 7 standard. Uh, what is A plus B the whole squared, A minus B the whole squared. That's all that's required to get the answer for this question. See, the key to these questions is you should know how to rearrange. If you know that, it's very easy. See what is given here, x is given, y is given. Then you have to find out the value of x squared uh, plus xy plus y squared by x squared minus xy plus y squared, right? Here you have x, x is equal to uh, root of 5 plus 1 by root of 5 minus 1, right? Now you know y is equal to root of 5 minus 1 by root of 5 plus 1. So what is xy? See there is a term xy here, correct? So what is xy? xy is nothing but product of these two. So, if you do product of these two, what do you get? So, you get root of 5 plus 1 by root of 5 minus 1 into root of 5 minus 1 by root of 5 plus 1. See, you didn't write this down again because when you look at it itself, you can say these will get cancelled and xy is going to be 1. Correct? Now, next what do you need? See, basically how can you write this? This is of the form. See, I can say this as, this is, see, you know, uh, a plus b the whole squared, right? Or let us say, take it as x plus y the whole squared because here everything is in terms of x. What is x plus y the whole squared? It is nothing but x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Here, what have they given? x squared plus xy plus y squared. So, what is this numerator? It is nothing but x plus y the whole squared minus xy. Correct? That is what the numerator represents. Similarly, what does the denominator represent in terms of x plus y the whole squared? It is nothing but x plus y the whole squared minus 3xy. Correct? Because when you expand this, you will get 2xy. 2xy minus 3xy will become minus xy. Okay? Now, I also found out that xy is equal to 1. Now, I just need to find out what is x plus y. If I know what is x plus y also, I can just put in the value and get the answer. Correct? Now, what is x plus y? 
see x plus y is nothing but root of 5 plus 1 by root of 5 minus 1 plus root of 5 minus 1 by 5 plus 1. Correct. So, how do you do that? Again, these many steps, please do not write in the exam. I am explaining. So, it should be clear to everybody. That is why I am writing so many steps. So, here the LCM is going to be root of 5 minus 1 into root of 5 plus 1. See, you know, a plus b into a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So, this denominator will become 5 minus 1, which will be your LCM. In the numerator, again, uh, what is happening? You are multiplying root of 5 plus 1 the whole squared plus root of 5 minus 1 the whole squared. That will become your uh, numerator. Or again, if you actually uh, expand these, right, the xy terms, right, the two xy terms, that is here it is a plus b the whole squared, a minus b the whole squared. So, that uh, term which will have plus 2 xy and minus 2 xy, they will get cancelled. So, what will be remaining will be 5 plus 1, that is 6. So, 6 by uh, 6 plus 6, correct, this will become 6, this will become 6, 6 plus 6 by 4, that is equal to 12 by 4 or 3, correct. So, you know x plus 5 is equal to 3, put it in this equation. So, this is what 3 squared minus uh, what is x y? Uh, x y is 1, 1 divided by again you have 3 squared minus 3. So, that is 9 minus 1 divided by 9 minus 3 or uh, 8 by 6 that is 4 by 3. Okay, that is the answer that we are looking at that is option B. Okay, hope it is clear. So, the only formulas that we actually used here was x plus y the whole squared and what is a squared minus b squared that is equal to a plus b into a minus b. So, just rearrange accordingly get the answer. Okay.